Samsung is expected to host a Galaxy Unpacked event to introduce the Galaxy S26 series in late February 2026. The event is likely to take place in San Francisco, United States, with the first sales possibly starting in the first or second week of March. This updated timeline, shared by tipster PhoneArt, matches a report from a Korean publication that surfaced last month. Another source suggested there would be no delay to the event, although a January unveiling now appears less probable. Earlier this year, Samsung held its unpacked event in January, followed by open sales in February. However, the company has reportedly reorganized the Galaxy S26 lineup and adjusted several key specifications at the final stage, which has pushed the schedule back. Despite these changes, Samsung is not expected to raise prices for the Galaxy S26 series. This price stability seems to come at the expense of limited camera upgrades. The adoption of the Exynos 2600 chipset could offset some concerns, especially since the processor was officially announced this week. According to a tweet shared by Anthony, the Galaxy S26 series will introduce new local AI hardware and software designed to strengthen Samsung's lead in mobile AI. The report also states that these upcoming AI features will be exclusive to the Galaxy S26 lineup, meaning older Galaxy devices are unlikely to receive them. This strongly suggests that Samsung is positioning the S26 Ultra as a true AI-focused flagship rather than just a routine generational refresh. As reported by CID, a new US and Canadian Galaxy S26 series update has been spotted on Samsung's test servers. The update is based on One UI 8.5 and carries the build identifier AYLL. Multiple firmware versions for different regional and carrier models have appeared, indicating that Samsung is already deep into internal testing. The appearance of One UI 8.5 at this stage suggests that Samsung is refining the Galaxy S26 Ultra's software experience early likely to better support its upcoming AI-focused features. Combined with the reported local AI hardware, this points toward a device that prioritizes speed, efficiency, and intelligent on-device processing. Taken together, these leaks paint a clear picture. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is not just about raw specifications. Samsung seems to be building a flagship centered around exclusive AI capabilities, advanced software optimization, and next-generation on-device intelligence. If these reports hold true, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could set a new benchmark for Android smartphones in 2026, with the most expensive model offering direct satellite connectivity for emergency use. That feature, however, appears to be limited to a single regional version. The Galaxy S26 Ultra carrying the model number SMS9480 has now received approval from China compulsory certification for the Chinese market, and certification documents confirm that this variant includes direct satellite communication. This functionality is expected to let users share messages or location details with local emergency services when no cellular network is available. At this point, it remains unclear whether full emergency calling support is included. A well-known leaker has highlighted how the Galaxy S26 Ultra's charging situation unfolded over time. According to the source, most people had already accepted that 60-watt charging would not happen and believed Samsung would stick with 45-watt charging for the S26 Ultra. Despite this, the leaker continued to stand by the claim that 60-watt support was real. Now, with newer information backing it up, the leaker states that the original claim has been proven correct. They also reiterated that the Galaxy S26 Ultra's specifications regarding 60-watt charging remain unchanged and were never downgraded to 45-watt, reinforcing confidence in earlier leaks. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is widely expected to support 60-watt wired charging, powered by Samsung's new super-fast charging 3 technology. If the rumors hold, it will mark the company's first major charging upgrade in years. A new Samsung charger was silently listed on the company's website. It is called the 60-watt power adapter and carries the model number EPT6010. It has a single universal serial bus Type-C port that offers a maximum power output of 60 watts and can go as low as 5 milliwatts to save power when it is not actively used. A new report from WinFuture has revealed additional early details about the Galaxy S26 series and its accessories. According to their exclusive coverage, Samsung is now preparing to launch the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra, and a wide range of official accessories is already in development. This confirms Samsung's plan to make magnetic wireless charging a standard feature across the entire Galaxy S26 lineup. According to the latest information shared by the German publication, Samsung is preparing several official accessories for the Galaxy S26 lineup. These include Samsung Magnetic Carbon Case in black for the Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Plus, Samsung Clear Case Transparent for the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra, Samsung Magnetic Clear Case Transparent for the Galaxy S26, 
Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra. Samsung Dual Magnet Holder Ring for all Galaxy S26 models. Samsung Magnetic Rugged Clear Case for the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra. Samsung Magnetic Silicone Case for the Galaxy S26, Galaxy S26 Plus, and Galaxy S26 Ultra, available in black or gray. The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra smartphone models with the model numbers SMS948BS-DS, SMS948B, SMS948U, and SMS948U1 have appeared on the Federal Communications Commission Certification Database. The letter B represents the India or International variant, while U refers to the United States variant. These devices receive approval under the Federal Communications Commission identification number A3LSMS948B and A3LSMS948U. In the certification listing, the smartphone is described as a portable handset, and several connectivity features have been confirmed, including support for second generation, third generation, fourth generation, and fifth generation networks, triple band wireless fidelity 72, 4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz, Bluetooth basic rate, enhanced data rate, low energy, near field communication, wireless power transfer for wireless reverse charging, and ultra wideband. Additionally, the listing confirms the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Generation 5 chipset model SM8850 for the device along with Qualcomm's Smart Transmit Plus Extended Feature Set version 24, which supports antenna grouping and a multi-transmit factor of 1.27. A schematic diagram showing the layout of different antennas. Wireless Fidelity 1 is 2.4 GHz slash 5 GHz slash 6 GHz. Wireless Fidelity 2 is 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz slash 6 GHz. And Ultra Wideband 1 and Ultra Wideband 2 receive only has also been included. It looks like Samsung's own leaked software may include images of the upcoming flagship models. Images resembling official renders of the Galaxy S26 lineup were discovered inside One UI 8.5. One of these, identified by Android Authority, shows a device using the codenames M1 and M2, while another image highlights a phone labeled with the codename M3. According to Android Authority, their examination of Samsung's One UI 8.5 software revealed a pair of renders representing the Galaxy S26 series. The first image includes a device tagged with the codenames M1 and M2, and the second features a device labeled M3. Earlier leaks indicate that M1 and M2 correspond to the standard Galaxy S26 and the Galaxy S26 Plus. Meanwhile, the M3 codename has consistently been associated with the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Both newly found renders align closely with previous leaks. The two base models are expected to feature a vertical camera setup with three rear lenses, while the S26 Ultra will include the same vertical layout, but with two additional sensors positioned beside it. Along with that, we also have a set of new details that highlight what Samsung is preparing for its 2026 flagship lineup. Samsung has now released the first official teaser for the Exynos 2600 chip, and honestly, it looks impressive. The trailer highlights a refined core design, optimized performance at every level, and then reveals the confirmed name the Exynos 2600. For anyone unaware, the Exynos 2600 will be the first phone chipset built on a 2 nanometer architecture. Based on the early leak benchmarks, the results so far look very promising. Samsung didn't include any launch dates in the trailer, so this serves purely as the first formal announcement of the Exynos 2600. We can expect more promotional teasers like this in the coming weeks. Speaking of official material, these could be the confirmed wallpapers for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. What makes them interesting is that they may also hint at the final color options of the S26 Ultra. Out of all the shades shown, the standout for me is definitely the new purple variant. Based on the wallpaper, it looks distinct and could be Samsung's direct response to the orange finish on the iPhone 17 Pro Max. Let's wait and see what the Galaxy S26 Ultra truly delivers when it officially launches. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.